Welcome to this introduction to the State of Alaska Political Subdivision Group Health and Life Insurance Plan. All eligible political subdivisions, including municipalities, bureaus, school districts, and other subdivisions, are offered four different medical plans to choose from, with optional dental, vision, and audio insurance available for participants and their dependents. In addition, there's a basic life benefit component of each medical plan, optional accidental death and dismemberment benefits for employees, and optional dependent life insurance benefits avail available for purchase. Many political subdivisions with the state of Alaska may offer one of these plans to their employees and their families. You might consider contacting your employer regarding participation. If your employer participates, coverage is mandatory for all eligible employees and optional for the dependents. Employees eligible for coverage include permanent full-time employees that work at least 30 hours a week on a regular basis must be enrolled. Permanent part-time employees that work at least 15 hours a week, but less than 30 hours a week on a regular basis may elect to participate. For these groups of employees once enrolled or after they have elected a plan, coverage becomes effective on the 31st consecutive calendar day following the date of hire. Elected officials who receive a salary may participate. Coverage becomes effective upon taking the oath of office. Eligible dependents include the employee's spouse and dependent children who are under the age of 26. All of the medical plans offered are comprehensive in nature and cover the same services and prescriptions, but vary on key provisions, such as deductibles, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket limit. There are in-network and out-of-network deductibles, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket limits associated with each plan as well. A participant can optimize the value of their money by utilizing in-network providers and avoiding the additional costs associated with out-of-network providers. Let's take a look at the plans. If your employer has chosen plan 1, 2, or 3, this graph illustrates employee-only coverage using in-network providers. Plan 1 includes a $250 deductible. The coinsurance is 90-10, meaning the insurance pays 90% for covered services and the participant pays 10%, with an out-of-pocket limit per calendar year of $750. Plan 2 requires a $500 deductible. The coinsurance is 80-20, with a $1,500 out-of-pocket limit for the plan year. Plan 3 has a $750 deductible with 80-20 coinsurance and an annual out-of-pocket limit of $2,750. All three plans offer the opportunity to provide benefits at various levels of family coverage, including employee and children, employee and spouse, or employee, spouse, and children. These levels of family coverage have associated premium costs. Dental, vision, and audio coverage may also be selected for additional premium. Along with the premium costs, these plans have individual and family deductibles and additional out-of-pocket limits. The fourth possible plan is the high deductible option. This plan offers coverage for the employee only with a $2,000 deductible, 80-20 coinsurance, and a $3,000 out-of-pocket limit. It also offers family coverage with a $4,000 deductible, 80-20 coinsurance, and a $6,000 out-of-pocket limit. As previously mentioned, all plans cover the same kinds of services. The key differences are related to the deductible, the level of coinsurance, and out-of-pocket limits. Utilizing in-network providers is key to minimizing the costs associated with healthcare. Each of the medical plans have a mandatory basic life insurance benefit of $2,000 for employees, as well as a $5,000 accidental death and dismemberment, or AD&D benefit. There is an optional life and AD&D benefit which may be purchased by employees. The optional benefit schedule is equal to the employee's annual salary rounded to the next highest thousand to a maximum of $60,000. The plan also offers a dependent life insurance for a small premium with a spousal benefit of $1,000 and a graduated benefit for children depending on age. If you have been directed to view the video, it's likely your employer offers one of these plans. You may want to contact the human resource representative for your employer to determine which plan is offered and how to enroll. We hope this overview has been helpful. For more details regarding these plans, please visit our website.